Came in three scabs on protected bus gone through Atfield picket line. All Atfield pickets flew to the pit. Well, news began to filter through from the pickets on the on the lane, and we only had a minimal number of pickets on the lane. That actually scabs had gone in. Uh, we couldn't believe it because we used to have painted right across the road here, no scabs at all. Everyone was asking what's happened, who's gone in, how many, if any and what did we think was going to happen? Um, and, well, everybody knows what happened. Um, it got very nasty. Very nasty. We found that the entry to the pit had been barricaded. There were tyres, there were you know, wooden barricades. There were a lot of people there who were, who were very, very angry. Very, very soon after that, we started to get missiles thrown at us. The tires were set on fire, and we were almost under an element of siege. The Manchester police made frantic radio calls for help. A unit from the Metropolitan Police responded. On our arrival, we were immediately, uh, uh, well, I'm going to use the word attacked, uh, because that's what it felt like. We were taking missiles and attacks from the side, so we were getting hit and we were getting hurt. They got off the bus, they lined up ten deep across East Lane with the full riot shields and they were chanting and banging the shields. Well, people were coming out at the side of these riot police doing this sort of mini war dance, if you like, on East Lane. We had our truncheons drawn, so we had weapons uh, ready to use, and banging on the shields, and you are quite scary. You're going to scare them. When they got to the top of the lane, everybody flew, myself included, because you didn't stand about to argue the finer points. You got out of the way when they were in that mode. <laughs> To be in a position like that, where you're in confrontation with a community, the animosity is total to you. That they, you could feel it. it. It was tangible. You could taste it. During a brief break in hostilities, the people of Hatfield gathered at the pit lane. Meanwhile, union officials spoke to the strike breakers. Branch Secretary Peter Curran then returned to say that one man had changed his mind and decided to rejoin the strike. When he came out, I saw the look on his face and that guy really knew he did wrong. He realised he made a mistake. And of course he suffered the consequences afterwards. And those consequences were that in the local clubs and pubs he just weren't allowed in and he was isolated. And to be quite honest, quite rightly so. Um, he did something that you, sh you should not do.